welcome to the Plex Live TV section that I'm going to do today. Um, I will tell you, this is take two. I had the video all done with uh, issues I ran into and all this stuff, and I forgot to turn my headset back on um, towards the middle. So, because I got up, walked away, uh, had to do some stuff, and I didn't turn it back on, so there's no audio, so we're going to redo it. Okay. So with that said, we're going to look. So Plex and Live TV, it's it works. It's nice. It's a little sloppy at times. Uh, it's a little slow at times, and that is fine. But we're going to go over the TV guide. First, how to get Live TV in, uh, inside a Plex, through a channel. Then we're going to set up the TV guide. And then we're going to set up the logos and even how to resize logos. So let's go give us a start. So if you were to Google HD Home Run and Plex, you will get, you will see a link for here. There are two. This is the initial one. This one is going to show up as beta on a channel. This one is really nice. This one's nice too. It works. It gives you a favorites and all channels. This one will give you all channels and up to 10 favorites. What's nice with the all with the favorites is on a Roku streaming stick for me when I'm upstairs in my bedroom and I'm scrolling through the channels, I'd like to have a you know, general 3, 6, 10, 12, 29, 57, yeah, the normal stuff that I can just quickly go to as a favorite. And then I can have a set for my 9-year-old and then a set for my 16-year-old and a set for the wife. Uh, as I told you in the HD Home Run configuration, I blocked channel 3, so now the wife is forced to 803. And a nicer way to get her to 803 is to have it accessible under her favorite. So, we'll go through this. So, I recommend you come here and download the files that are here and follow through. So, what I will do. So, the, the first thing you got to do, I'll launch my plugin folder. I will also open Plex and you'll go to channels. You'll see there's no channels at this moment. So I will take the bundle and I named it this way and I'm going to rename it to what it needs to be. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to close the window going to close just this channel and as you see I had it going okay we'll exit Plex not sure if you have to exit Plex I don't mind open Plex again and as you see it already shows up under channels so the first thing you need to do is you need to configure it now it kept my settings. So you give it the IP of your HD Home Run box. We do not have TV Guide set up yet. This is the folder I'm going to use from following the directions on getting that uh, the TV Guide and whatnot. And then we also have this. It also kept my favorites. Uh, it looks like okay. I didn't delete out the plugin. So, once you enter this, you get this stuff, you go all the way to the bottom, hit save. You should now be able to click it. Now, I did call one called Local Channels, favorite one, and as you see, it sees them. This is not a great view, which we will definitely get to a better. I like this view better. We will fix the logos. Oh, go to CBS, we'll hit play. All right, now, caveat one, if this plays and you do... We're following every right. campaign development right working. here on CBS3. When we're not on TV, we have continuing coverage for you on our website. Now, if you get no video, no audio, and you see the time going, it means it's working. It comes down to a setting. That was one of the other little things I had to shoot around and look. So you just go to settings, 
Now this is always up to different people, different setups. I know on my laptop, I didn't have to do this, it worked. On my Surface Pro 2, I had to poke around. On this machine, this direct stream kills video and audio for me. So I unchecked it, now we're good to go. Uh, these are not default, I also made changes to those. Now, so as you saw, that worked. Now the one thing you'll notice, so I'll show you this. The way I did the local channels following that document is favorites one. And you have to do them by, uh, by physical numbers. So you can, and you have to check off enable. We'll call this, um, uh, just favorites. And I will put, now, Plex will not do DRM, so HBO, Cinemax, and all those will not show up. So I'm going to bring up another browser. Actually, I could have just done it that way. And go all channels. Let's get a quick jump. Let's see. For me, I'll add Sci Fi 829. It's a shame I don't even know my own channels. 829. So I'm planning on eventually running this in parallel with an over the air antenna and another over the air box, the HD home run. I think it's a connector, you extend whichever the two is HD. And I want to get that working. And I may cut Comcast Xfinity cable because it gets ridiculous with the pricing. I'm on a promo for two years, so I can live with that. All right. So let's go back. Refresh. There's Jeff's favorites. We'll go in and we'll play. On a Roku streaming. On a Roku streaming stick, that can actually take anywhere from five seconds. I've seen it to three minutes, and it's definitely not a what we call a WAF, a WAF. A wife acceptance factor but we live with it uh, my wife is slowly getting to it she'll see the benefit when we get rid of the cable boxes and free up our bill some so as you just saw this is working now now on to the TV guide we have nothing here this yeah that's great if you want to use your own TV guide or if you want to go to zap2xml.com I believe that's what it is and that's what we're going to use and so let's close out. So you could do that, but why? Why? So we'll go. So what you want to do is follow in their directions. And they did say something that also caught me. And this has actually caught a lot of users. This Java. So when I first was doing this, I couldn't get the beta to work. It was driving me crazy. And I sat here and said, you know what? Java. Java came back and said, internal command unknown. So my previous video I just did, I had this issue. So I just Googled download Java. I went out there. I installed Java. If you don't know if you have Java installed, you can type Java. If you'd like to see what version of Java you have. If you do not have Java in your control panel, you do not have Java installed. Here we go. 1.8073. So after I installed Java, I still got the unknown command. I had to do a reboot. After I did a reboot, I received this Java. So what we're going to do now is I got a couple windows open. Let's close some, minimize some windows. This one will close. So following the directions from the website, it says go to C create a folder, something, whatever you want, but HDHR view is a good name. Okay, so we have this, we'll snap that to the right, and we'll take this guy. So TV guide. They tell you for the TV guide to take these, take this, go create an account, you go in, you follow the instructions on how to create and set up your lineup. Then they tell you to create a batch file. So I will copy them here. 
and they tell you to launch a batch file. Now, passwords in clear text, so I'm going to pause this. I could blur it out editing the video, but I'm just going to pause. So hold on. Okay, so we're past my name and password for the site, and this is going. So as this is going, you see there's a cache folder. Let me take a look. It's going out. It's getting what it can. Let's go see what we got. So we got these files. It's just it is what it is. It's setting them up, and it created my XML file. And if you read that, it said 141 stations. Because I went in the HD Home Run Prime config, and I don't want certain channels, I took them out. Why download the data for them? So we now have this. Now, what you also want to do, we'll go ahead, we'll take a look first. And then, so go into Plex, go home, click Channels. Uh, see what Jeff's favorites got. Aha! One thing we need to go enable right here. We need to enable this X file location. Right? Oh, I didn't hit save. Service where's that be? Scroll to the bottom hit save. Now we'll go back in okay step two see I'm still forgetting things so this we now have the file we we still have what we need for the TV guide however the 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 v1 of the channel doesn't require this next step and I think it's what confuses a lot of people and there's two pieces to what can be confusing. When you go back to the site, and it tells you to download ch uh, Channel Guide app, this will give you this file. I believe it gives you this file. And you have to create your own batch file. So we'll copy this here. Now the batch file you can set up in your startup folder to run every time you log in, which you definitely want to do. Now, they also have you edit this by following the directions. We'll go in Notepad, just take a quick peek. That's right, we will edit that again, but this time we can use WordPad. You just gotta make sure you choose this line right here you have to make sure this is correct. So, we will run the batch file. You see it going out, it's doing things. Now, when I was first running this, I had problems. I couldn't get this to work and I was going crazy. This would run. Originally, it, the, the DOS window command prompt would come up and go away. I was like, okay, it ran. But I couldn't get it to work. That's what led me down to type in Java, seeing, oh, I need Java installed. After I installed Java and I ran this, I was like, okay, this is just sitting here. What's going on? And it just sat, it sat, it sat. And I closed it. This has to stay open. You must leave this. We're just going to minimize it. Now we'll go back over to Plex. We'll just refresh the page. Go in. What do we have? Look at this. Final Destination 2. Uh, so... Here we have Phenomenon, Next, More, Final Destination 2, The Faculty. So this piece also is just another configuration piece in the plugin. It asks you how many programs do you want. You can go, you don't want any? No, oh, alright, we'll change it to five. So now, we go in. Okay, we may need to do an, a, a refresh. Yeah, there may be more to it, but for me, that this is fine. Three is perfect. Now, this is the last piece I do not like. I want to see the sci-fi logo, and the reason is on the 
Roku's and the Xbox and whatnot you can look at it like this and it's fine but all this is blah colors now there are some skins for Plex I haven't got into that yet and that is on my to-do list my main thing is for me to be able to stream around the house in and outside look nice and appealing to the wife gotta have a good wife acceptance factor aka WAF uh, without that all this would be vetoed so let's get this logo going back on the site it will tell you logos now I learned a little bit about logos it's more to it than just what it says here you need to name the files logo dash channel and the dash name now I didn't do the dash name part I just did the logo dash channel number and that works for me because in the options channel logo match by channel number. Now, if I put name in there, I could do name. Yeah, it is what it is. I have I had 141 of them to do. I didn't feel like adding all the extra, which I could have done. So, let's get to this. You need to acquire, all right, actually, let's back up a quick second. Let's go into our control panel. Let's go into administrative tools. So one thing, getting back to the TV guide, that you will need to do is that first batch file we ran is great. We got TV guide info right now, but what about in a week or two? You need to go into task scheduler. Now, I didn't delete it from my previous tutorial that I forgot to enable the mic. I will, can we edit it? Let's see double click here we go so you give it a name you run through the trigger I'm doing this daily at 2 a.m. you can do it daily every couple days it does download some days I'm not sure how many I just do it each day the action I want it to here's a screen you'll get while you're going through start a program here's the batch file I also did the start in folder not sure if this is needed but it doesn't hurt to put it no conditions, no settings. So this will run at 2 a.m. and this will also get your TV guide going. <clears throat> so let's close out some windows. Let's get to the next part. So you need to find, obtain, create, whatever you may do to get your icons. I'm going to assume due to rights and whatnot, they're not provided as a download from Plex and that's fine of course it takes a while so I have all my logos now it takes time like I said I found what I wanted logo dash the number I also could have put HBO comedy I'm not sure what the naming would have been like CMT is easy DIY but Disney Junior I wasn't sure what so I just did just a number so we're gonna grab all these right click on Plex go to the plugins folder go into HHR viewer 2 contents resources here we go if you wanted to change your other icons here they are like the favorites on the site I did see I don't know where I'm supposed to do it at the moment and it's something else I'm gonna look at you saw how I did Jeff's favorites on and I'll show you real quick I know I'm jumping around but right here, I believe this is telling you how you can do your own channel, I'm hoping, channel icon for yourself and do different ones. Now, so I dropped all the files in. That's really it. Of course, it sounds easy. Now, I'm just going to refresh. I'm curious. Okay. Let's go back, go down, Jeff's favorites, there it is, quick and easy. Now, let's go to all channels, let's see if there's one that doesn't look great. I believe, don't have one for Encore, so I'll have to get that later, okay, I think 803 or 806, now nah, I fixed it. So, 
if you find a picture it's a thousand by a thousand it's actually not difficult when you put it in here you can use it but it may be this huge huge circle that says ABC and it doesn't look right so what you do with those I will show you I closed the plugins folder so let's go back in I know I have one if I'm not mistaken it was 803 or 806 I think it was ABC this guy and I'm going to rename this 8060 just so I don't have a duplicate file alright logo I am going blind sorry here it is so I don't like the HD piece but let's take a look properties how big is this file this file is too big 600 by 600 and if you look at my other files it's 244 by 137 now they all don't have to be this exact I say give it a try if it works it works if it doesn't then it needs to be changed and the process is fairly easy so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to resize this and we're going to use trusty old paint so I'm just going to click edit resize pixels now told you 244 by 137 244 by 100 that'll work if I do 137 that does not work so you and the reason is you're gonna cut this change the canvas size and paste it in so if I do that it's gonna force it back to 337 so 244 you can go smaller and that's fine so we'll say OK. What I do, I control A, control X, yeah, highlight all, cut it. Go file, properties, I change pixels to one by one. Actually, sorry, that's what I did originally. That's not what we're gonna do. We're going to change it to 244 by 137 it stretched it down now we're going to paste in here I yeah, use the arrow keys we'll move this around we'll drop it right there we'll save it now you know what we'll do go up to I'm going to rename this 8061 come down here call us 806 Flex up all channels. Go down to see. There it is. Looks good. It works. My thing is, I don't need it to say HD because then this would say Fox HD, and this would say well that one says HD. I think that's just what I found. And CBS. Yeah, you know, it's like I don't need them to say HD. I know they're HD. I hid all the non-HD channels. So we're going to do two things. So 804, I'm going to show you something else you can do. So we're going to rename this because I'm not going to use this. We're going to come down here, rename this one back, and 804, where is it? Here it is. We're going to edit this. Of course, I had to go hit print, right? edit you can do this many ways um, I find the easiest way take a section copy paste paste it again paste it again I don't think there is any but we'll do that now that's not good enough I want to select this I'm going to cut it paste it and we're going to move it around there you go we're going to save that close out bring Plex back up 
it needs to refresh the icon. So we'll go all channels. Let's take a look. It was in the eights again. Scroll down. There we go. There's our HSN, Home Shopping Network, because everybody needs that channel, uh, without the HD on it. And our ABC is back. So this is just how I like doing that. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, that should be it all. Let's take a quick look. We went over the TV guide that is working. The bundle's working. The logos are working. Before I let you go, we'll open Plex again. Yes, we did have... Right, we were watching sci-fi originally. Or, oh, look at that. Just took a minute. Now I have the next five. And we're going to go ahead and fire it up, make sure it still works. And there we go. So now we are done. I hope that helped people out. So I've already gone over my hardware, which was number one. I don't have it listed here. The hardware I'm using and software uh, for OS and some other things. We set up the HD Home Run. We, we set up Plex. And now we just did Plex Live TV. Next up is Next PBR, standalone for viewing TV for this part. And then we're going to throw it into Kodi as the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you very much.